Hello again. Today we're working on the checking this or that activity, which is the fourth activity in the logical operators chapter of Learn to Code 1. So our goal today is to use the or operator to adjust our path if either of two conditions is true. And that key word there is either. While in that last activity we were using the logical AND operator, where both of the conditions in a logical condition had to be true in order for the uh, full if statement to evaluate to true. In this case, either one or the other, or any of the logical components are true, then the whole thing will evaluate to true. Okay, so uh, the, it says here that this logical OR operator, um, we can combine two or more Boolean conditions, and if at least one of them is true, then the whole thing will be true. So for the example, in this example below, it says if is on gem OR, and those two vertical bars is how we uh, write the logical OR operator. So this says if, if we're is on gem is true, or is blocked left is true, then we're going to move forward. Okay, so again, or means if one of these is true, one of them is true, or if both of them are true, we're going to move forward. So if either is on gem is true, or is blocked left is true, or both of them are true, then we'll move forward. But if neither of them are true, we won't move forward. All right. So let's take a look at this puzzle. This isn't uh, too difficult here once we uh, figure out what we're supposed to do. So I'm going to pinch to uh, zoom in here. And it looks like there is one gem we need to collect. And the gem is way over here on this other island. So the only way we can get over to that is by taking this blue portal. Okay. So we need to find the quickest way to get to the blue portal. And I'm going to draw that on the screen here. The quickest way to get to it would be to go uh, move forward, turn right, then move forward three, and then turn right again, and then move forward one to get onto the blue portal. Okay, now that's the fastest way to get to the blue portal. Now, when we come when we come into the blue portal, we're going to be facing this way, the opposite of the way we're facing now. So when we come out of the blue portal, we'll be facing the same way, uh, which is this way right here. Okay. So and now we need to get to, uh, of course, the you know the goal is to find the fastest way we can to get to the gem. So to get to the fa fastest way to the get to gem, since there's this little wall of what appear to be rocks here, we're going to need to move around that, which means move forward three, turn right and move forward two more, then turn right again and come all the way around so we end up uh, finding uh, this uh, gem over here. Okay, So our goal is to see if we can find some way to make that happen without you know having to write all those commands. Like is there a shortcut way we can do this so that we will uh, not have to write, you know, all the move forwards and the turn rights and so on. Uh, first of all, let's count the uh, let's count the number in the shortest route. Let's count the number of tiles we'll have to visit. Okay, so in this case over here, it's one, two, three, four onto the portal. Okay, and when we come out of the portal here, it's Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So we can do this in twelve move forwards if we're clever. All right. Now, uh, conveniently, we've got a for loop over here set up in our code that says for i in one to twelve. So it looks like uh, we should be able to do this in a for loop if we can figure out what the uh, what the plan of action is. Okay. Now, what is it? Uh, you know, all these moves are going to be a move forward. Uh, but I noticed that as we were doing this, we said, you know, here we're going to turn right. Here we need to turn right also to get onto this blue portal. Now when I come up here, I'm going to come up to this square here, and I need to turn right. 
and then I'm going to come to this square and I need to turn right and then I'm going to keep moving to this square here and I need to turn right and then when I get to here I need to turn right okay so we're gonna have a bunch of turn rights in here but inside this for loop how are we going to describe when we want to turn right well uh, let's look here what are the uh, what are the indicators that tell us when we knew when we need to move right okay on this side here if we move forward one we'll be blocked and if we're blocked in front of us we need to turn right so that could possibly be one of the indicators but that's not true when we come over here to this next uh, to this next turn right there we're not blocked forward uh, because there's an open space here uh, but we are blocked to the left um, so maybe it could be that maybe we want to say either if we're blocked forward we want to turn right or if we're blocked to the left we want to turn right but let's check and make sure that works for this whole puzzle okay now when we come out of this portal up here we're going to move forward and at this tile right here we want to move right and at this tile we'll be blocked to the left okay so that condition still holds where we're either blocked in front or blocked to the left so that will make us turn right now when we move down this back row here as soon as we're blocked to the front we want to turn right again now we'll be facing us here and as we come forward and we get to this tile we'll be blocked on the left so that will make us turn to the right then as we move forward we'll be blocked here to the front which will make us turn right and then when we come in here we'll be blocked both to the left and the front so we don't need to turn anymore, but we do need to collect our gem. Okay, so it looks like uh, just you know because of the way this uh, the way these walls are set up here and the rocks and things, any time we're blocked either to the front or to the left, we want to turn right. Okay, and then move forward. Otherwise, we just want to keep moving forward. Okay, so let's write this code in here. Let's try this if we are uh, blocked straight up you know if we're is blocked that means blocked to the front or and remember down here we can choose between and or or and is two ampersands or are the two vertical bars let's choose the two vertical bars by the way if you need to type these it's the uppercase or use the shift key and it's the key right above the return key there's either a backslash there or uh, right above it are these vertical bars. So that's where you can type that if you need to. So if we're blocked or we're blocked to the left, is blocked to the left, then we want to turn right and move forward one. Otherwise, in all other cases, else we want to just move forward okay okay let's try this out here and see if it works and then if this does work uh, hang on a minute because there's something i want to talk to you about about uh, possibly simplifying this okay all right let's let it go uh, so here we go we are going to come up here and we're going to move forward. Now we're blocked, so we turn to the right. We move forward. We're blocked to the left, so we turn right. We end up facing the uh, away from us. We're not blocked. Now we're blocked to the left, so we turn right. Now we're blocked to the front, so we turn right. Now we're blocked to the le left, we turn right. Blocked front, we turn right. And this is our 12th one. So, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and collect the gem here. So after our for loop, we got to where we need to be, and if we collect gem, we'll be done with the puzzle, and that will work. Okay, good. So we figured that one out. Um, I want to talk about this code up in here a little bit, though, because uh, there's another way we can write this, uh, and you can you know, may prefer one way or another. This one way might be a little bit less typing, though. In this if statement, we say if we're either blocked to the front or we're blocked to the left then we want to do these two commands and one of those commands is a move forward and here it says otherwise we want to move forward okay so really no matter what we're always moving forward we're going to move forward here 
if we're not blocked to the left or to to the front and we're going to move if we are blocked to either the front or the left so uh, one thing we could do since we're going to do this anyway is we could go ahead and uh, cut this out of here and cut it out of here and paste it right down here because we want to do it anyway every time every time in this for loop we want to move forward now uh, we can get rid of this else clause because nothing's happening in here right we're not doing anything in the else command so sorry in the else clause okay so now our code reads a little simpler which just says uh, we're always going to move forward, but before we move forward, we're going to check and say, if we're blocked to the front or we're blocked to the left, then we're going to turn right before we move forward. Okay? I like this a little bit better, but, uh, you know, it's, it's up to you. That's part of the art of programming, whichever one you like better. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and run this, make sure it all works. Come over here. We're blocked to the front. We turn right. We're not. We move forward. We move forward, we take the portal over, we're not blocked, so we move forward, we're not blocked, we move forward, we are to the left, so we turn right, we are to the front, so we turn right, we are to the left, so we turn right, we are to the front, we turn right, and that's our twelfth move forward, so we collect the gem, and we're done. Okay, so just to review here, we have a couple of, uh, well, three logical operators. The first was the not symbol, the not, sorry, the not operator, which just acted on one single Boolean expression. And if you say not some Boolean expression, if that Boolean expression was true, we change it to false. If it's false, it gets changed to true. The logical and operator uh, combines two different logical conditions, and both of them, if both of them are true, then the result will be true. If any of them are false, then the result will be false. Any or all of them are false, then, then, then the result will be false. Okay, so and means uh, both the first and the second need to be true in order for the result to be true. Or, logical or, like we're working at here, if any of them, uh, either the first or the second are true, then the result is true. The only way it's false is if, if both of them are false. That's the only way it ends up being false. All right. So uh, that's going to be it for logical operators. We'll do one more challenge here uh, before this chapter is over and we move on to while loops. Okay. See you next time.